members of city council. Um, first, uh, how can I say this? I'm a little shy. You guys are gonna have to excuse me. I'm very nervous. I'm not used to public speaking. You know, all you guys. Like you're you're doing fine. Just like Mr. You're, Jones, you're Dr. Jones here. over here has got an alphabet behind his name. I don't. I don't. I don't have that privilege. But I've come to uh, address. I, I apologize first because I thought that we're going to have the the meeting with the moratorium on the music in the bars tonight. So I came prepared for that. So I figured I'd address in the public public place. Now I live over on Knapp Street, which is which is south of Richmond Park. And as you guys know by my hate mail from all the noise and the music over the years, I know Mr. Nelson and and Miss Quirk. I've emailed you guys, mm -hmm. and I'm sure the rest of you received it. Chief Pat's got some of my email as well. Um, now these guys, this music was keeping me up two to five times a week. I get up at five o'clock in the morning and go to work. And I live, like I said, over on Nep Ave. I don't live near those bars. And to tell you the truth, most of my complaints were against our residents because I felt that's what it was. I mean, I talked to, sh to, to Mr. Nelson, and we thought it was a, a security guard at that, that veterinary <coughs> clinic you put in Richmond Park. But it turns out to be a bar. How do I know? Because I called over 50 times the police. They finally responded, and all the mail I've emailed to you guys, some of the emails were written at 1 o'clock in the morning because I couldn't sleep because of the music. I mean, what else can I do, right? Vent my frustration on you guys. And you guys sent an officer Radis out to my house, and I appreciate that. He was a wonderful man. And he talked to me, got my information, found out what the problem was. And he gave me a cell phone number and a card and told me to call him when I hear it. So I did. He came out to my house. He, re he went and checked. He heard the noise. He said, yes, it is loud. He went out and checked it out and come back. And, and that's when I found out it was one of the bars, Roscoe's, over on Commonwealth. So the music is projecting that loud. And I can still hear it. They had a band Tuesday night and they had a band Thursday or Friday night. And what I've been ended up doing is either going to have to remodel my house, change my windows around in my room, or insulate to insulate my room, or move my kids out of their rooms because I've been having to change bedrooms in the middle of the night in order to sleep. So I'm telling you, it's horrendous. But Again, everything I've said, you can verify. You go to the police records. You can see how many times I called. You guys have gotten my emails. Officer Radis came back and told me, yes, he heard the noise. It's unacceptable. And he was going to write a report. So you guys have access to that. Uh, and I'm just saying, the only way I knew the music went away, besides being able to sleep at night, was not hearing the sirens every 10 or 15 minutes going to piling. All right, Mr. Teddy, we, we appreciate you coming, and we will definitely take note of that. And, and I can tell you we are working on some of those issues because uh, you, you're not the only one concerned, but we will definitely keep working on you it. No, before I say I live, I live far enough away where I'm letting you guys know that right, the noise, not tra right, the noise right, is it traveling. It's not just the people in the, in the local vicinity because that bar Roscoe's is over on what Commonwealth near, right. near Harbor, and you know where I live. I live right, right by Richmond School. Right. Okay. So, all right, thank, thank you. you very we appreciate much. it. Thank, thank you. you. Mayor, if, may I ask a question of, of staff, you, if I you could? You may. Um, Mr. Godlewski, if, if you know, I, I know Roscoe's a little different because their, their area is actually all outside. Are there any special restrictions uh, to have live entertainment outdoors in the downtown versus, I think, everyone else is indoors? Maybe, maybe they're not. Is, is, there, is there any difference if, if you're outdoors versus indoors? Um, Mayor Quirk, Councilman Nelson, um, in the new ordinance, we are trying to address that in a number of different ways, cons um, limiting hours that noise, that music can be played outside. Currently, the only ordinance that we have uh, relates to nuisance type noises, and that's the only thing we can do at this time. <coughs> We're going to be hearing this moratorium again, I think, is it next council meeting? Um, planning Commission on the 27th of this month and March 4th to the City Council. So we invite you uh, February 27th at Planning Commission and then it'll come back to us. Yes. So I think you'll start to see that we're making progress. Uh, 6.30 on planning? Se 7.30 for planning, 6.30 for regular scheduled council meeting. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much.